Hi everybody, it's Eric. Welcome to pvcme.us. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a swinging 24 by 24 inch sign. A right. couple of things before we get started, I want to point out that I have this one sitting up on a table. It's in these single bases. This sign I originally designed to be on the roadside. You would take a metal pipe, the EMC, and drive it in where each of the legs come down. And this would be on the side of the road. And then no matter how hard the wind blew, your message would still be out there, moving in the wind, attracting attention to people, and uh, promoting your business. As you can see, they're all paintable. This is PVC. It's white when you start with it, but it's easily spray paintable. So you can use any color you want to match your theme. And then the last thing I want to point out is when I do my signs, I put an eye screw in the corner here. Now, you have to have a drill to pre-drill the hole in order to put these eye screws in. So if you don't have a drill, you can do it this way. You can take a zip tie and go through the grommet and around the top rod and the side rod on this uh, sign. And you can do that on all four corners. And then you don't need to have the eye screw in there. Last thing I want to point out, this is one of the signs that you can buy on the website as a kit. All the pipes and fittings will come in the box. You'll get a uh, parts list and a drawing. You find the video of me making this sign. You watch it a few times. You get it all laid out. Uh, you'll need to go buy primer and glue and maybe a rubber mallet. But after that, you'll be set. You can build your own sign, start promoting your business. So, we're going to get started. The first thing you want to do when you build one of these signs is build the upright. All right? This is going to allow you to make sure that this project is flat. So, you can see that these pipes all come out the same way. If you look at, they're all lined up that way. So, we're going to build another one of these uprights. I'm going to show you the basics of priming and gluing and then we'll put it together. So on the fittings you're going to use a one inch by one inch by one half. This is the part that swings on that top rod. You do not need to prime the one inch portion of this fitting because it is going to swing up there. It's not going to get primer or glue. Next piece I'm going to talk about is a zero piece. You're going to hear me mention this in almost every sign frame that I make. These little zero pieces in the half inch PVC or about an inch and a quarter long, they allow me to put two fittings together like this without a gap in there, which allows me to build these sign frames. Then you've got a half inch 90 and a half inch T. Make sure you get primer all the way around the insides there. When the primer and the glue combine together, they create a chemical bond, almost like a weld. And that's what will allow your sign frame to stay together for years in the, in the wind and the weather. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue up the 90. Put that piece on. Next thing I'm going to do is glue the zero piece in place. So I'm gluing one of the long sides of that half inch T. I'm going to put my zero piece in, set it. You see there's half in this piece, it's going to be half in the other piece. Next thing you do is glue up the other half of that long side of that fitting. Now here's an important part I have to mention. This is how you keep your project flat. You're going to take your hand and put it on that 90. And you're going to lift up just a smidge and put this fitting over the half inch, other half inch end of that pipe. Make sure both of those fittings are flat on the table. That'll assure that your sign ends up being flat and functions properly when you put the whole thing together. The last thing I'm going to do on this little piece is glue up the half inch piece on that fitting. Again, I'm going to hold my hand down on this 90. Make sure the project's flat. I'm going to work that over the end, push it down, make sure everything's flat, and there you go. Give it a little whack. I built the second 
of the uprights for my sign. Now I'm going to put that together. First thing I do is glue up the 290s on the bottom of the swing portion. Put that pipe in there. Lay the project flat. Put that half inch pipe into that half inch fitting. Push it a little bit, get it snug. Double check, make sure your project's flat. This side's already set, the glue is set, so I can stand that end up without worrying about making it move. So I'm look at it again, it's still flat. I'll flip it over and I am going to glue up the two half inch pieces of the fittings that are left. And that's where the other pipe is going to go. Put in a little bit. Set that. And you have your swinging portion of your 24 by 24 inch sign. So we'll put that off to the side. Now we're going to make the upright. So for this sign, the uprights like that. You can have a one inch pipe across the bottom. You can have a half inch swing rod across the top. And that's what your sign is actually going to swing on. So we've got one of these. I'm going to show you how to build the other one. First thing, you're going to prime everything. On the one inch PVC, you're going to go up about an inch because that's how far the pipe goes into the fitting when it goes in. You don't need to go any farther. Then uh, prime all of the holes on the fittings that you've got on these pieces. So you've got a half inch by one inch 90 and a one inch T, which is one inch on all three sides. We glue all of that up, prime all that up. All right. Again, this portion, I'm going to glue the one inch pipe, set it. Here again, you have to make sure the project stays flat on the table. So this one inch fitting will stay flat there. We glue in the one inch part of the fitting here. Hold that flat on the table. I'm going to work that over the end, slide it down, and make my adjustments. Again, this half inch piece needs to run out parallel to the table. So it's not going to be entirely, it's not going to touch the, the table when it's on there. You have to eyeball this piece so that both holes on the fittings come out and you end up with a flat project. All right, once you've got that on, you set it, one good whack, and you have your two uprights. All right. When you're building these signs, after you get your uprights together, you want to put your bottom one inch pipe in first. Then lay the project again flat. Put the one inch pipe in the one inch fitting. Push it on. Double check. This side is set. The glue is set so I can stand it up. Give it a whack and it'll set this fitting down here. Alright, so again the project looks flat. I'm gonna flip it over. All the fittings, all the glue is all set by now. It's that quick. Alright. You only have seconds to make adjustments once you put these pieces together. So I'm gonna glue up both of the half inch fittings that I've got. Here's the important part. Only put one piece of the pipe in until after you have your swinging sign over this. When I first started making these on occasion I would forget and not do this in the proper sequence. I'm going to stand that up, put that on, give it a whack. Now there is your 24 by 24 inch swinging single sign. Two things I'm going to do to finish up here. I'm going to show you how to put an eye screw in the corner and I'll put the legs on 
and then we're completely finished. So with the eye screws, you've got to pre-drill. This, uh, the plastic that the fittings are made out of is very hard, and you are not going to be able to put those in without drilling a hole to start with. So I'm going to very carefully get my hand out of the way, drill a small hole. Don't ever leave your hand up like this when you're doing this because you are going to slip with that drill on occasion. I've put it in my hand more than once. So take your, you're going to drill all four corners. There's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, you can tighten this up with a pair of pliers or vice grips and turn it in. I have invented a little tool for myself. I took a nut driver, magnetic nut driver, and I used my grinder and I put a little groove in it so I can drive these eye screws in mechanically. So I've put a lot of these in, I've hundreds of them, so that's a shortcut. Last thing, I'm going to put the legs on and we'll be finished. On the one inch pipe at the bottom, already got them cut and primed. I normally only put 10 inch legs on my signs. You can always make them taller if you're out in the field and you need them to be taller. But as far as storage and transportation, it's much more convenient to have them short and you can always add length to them once you get out in the field if you decide you want it taller. So there you have a 24 by 24 inch single swinging sign. Remember this is one of the signs that you can order as a kit on the website. So all the pieces and parts will come, the pipes are pre-cut, all the fittings will come. You're going to need to buy primer and glue and probably a rubber mallet. Watch the video a few times of me making this sign and you'll be ready to go in your shop.